Hello, hello, and welcome to Art Snack. Art Snack is that time of day when we take just a short break from our hectic work to talk about art. My name is Jenny Lynn James. I love painting in acrylic. I paint people, places, and things. With me today is Winston Pedley, all the way from Spanish Town, Jamaica. Hello, Winston. Welcome. Hi, Jenny Lynn. Uh, <clears throat> Thanks for having me. And hello, everybody. Nice to have you on. Today. Yes, so well, thank you, Winston, and I sincerely appreciate your being on Art Snack today. Right. Well, so please tell me a little bit about your journey as an artist. How did you get started? Okay. Um, as a, a very young child. Yes. You know, growing up in a uh, inner city community. I, well, um, I, I used to love to sing. Okay. But my, my siblings would normally ridicule me for trying to sing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so I, that happens. I decided that, all right, I need to find um, an area of expression where probably I can create in private and then when I'm sure that it's good enough, I put it in public. Okay, <laughs> yes. I, I discovered that I could draw as well. Okay. But I, most of my, my drawings in a more private setting. Right. And then after exposing it, I noticed that I got more support. Okay, you know, good. That, well, you know, you are good enough at art for us. Not laughing at you. So <laughs> I continued doing art, right? But I also remember when I'm um, being in high school, you know, and um, after reaching grade nine, moving on to grade 10. Yes. My mother asked me because at that point we would, we would choose an oh, What area. subjects you want to study? Yes. My mother asked me, what did I plan to do? Yes. Well, there is that art. She said art because I had a brother who did it. And, you know, she felt that he did not make much of it. Okay. So said, you cannot do art. She said, if you do art, if you choose art, don't come back in my house. <laughs> you know, many Caribbean parents have that feeling. Yeah, a doctor, lawyer, and engineer, you know, the standard but, uh, professions. But art, they can't, no. they can't wrap their heads around it. <laughs> they feel like whatever you do, you must be able to bring in money quick. Yes. So uh, deep within myself, I said to myself deep within that, well, if you choose not to take me back in your house, it will work out for me. <laughs> so I went out and I chose art. And she didn't say anything to me after that, right? Okay. <laughs> but I did two years of art in, um, <clears throat> in, in, in high school. Yes. I applied to um, Edna Manley College for the visual and performing arts before yes. high school. I was successful, so um, immediately after moving from high school, I went straight to, into art school. Oh, okay, okay. Um, at that point, I got a lot of support from my, my mother. Yes, uh, yes, because it's a prestigious art school, so then she was um, supporting. <laughs> you know, and um, I did four years of, of art school. Okay. But during that time, you know, I would volunteer to do community murals. I would, um, you know, take like blank t-shirts from my friends. Yes. So I want a blank wall or a blank paper. I want to draw on it. <laughs> so if I see a friend with a blank t-shirt, I ask him, would I like? To have me paint something on your shirt. Right, they were, right. Okay, functional art, yes. <laughs> they call it. And I went ahead and, you know, people started to really um, 
learn about me and my skills in the community. You know, more and more people would come to me and then I would be offered money. Oh. To, right. So I so graduated. Then it became commercial. <laughs> gradually transition. <laughs> but I've never stopped doing voluntary art. Oh. But I'm, 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 I'm really focused on um, it being more commercial right now. Yes. You know, I make money from art right now. You know, a lot of money, but I still um, like my going to some inner city community. And if I see where it could be brightened up by probably taking a mural, oh, you yeah. know, to sponsor the material because I love to paint. Yes, and yes. Without making money or not, I try to find um, reasons to paint. Okay. Right, right. And um, I like to know that my heart somehow touched people in a way where it helped them, like yes. change their attitude. You know, if you are in a, a depressed state of mind, I'd right. love to know art can lift you out of it okay. you know wonderful wonderful thank you so winston i look forward to seeing some of your paintings okay let me pull up the files now and viewers can take a look okay good all right here we have marcus garvey who i consider to be the ultimate pan-africanist the title of this one is Leadership Means Pain, Blood, and if necessary, Dead. It's a, a pen and ink work. Right, it's a pen and ink. Pen and ink, okay. Wonderful, and a lot of detail here too. Detail in it, right. Okay, this, this one? is a country house I call the Upper Mass Jaw. Okay. Frame of mind of going to the country and going back to visit an elder and yes. sitting down and having a good talk, you know. Okay. Yes. Yes. What medium is this? Is watercolor. Watercolor. Oh, now people say watercolor is is not easy to manipulate. What do you think? Ah, uh, it works for me because as a teacher, I. I have to teach my students to work in all mediums. Okay, right, right. In doing that, in teaching it, I have to do it myself first. Yes, yes. So it's a to experience, you know, a wide range. Of right, mediums. right, wonderful. And lots of details here in the forest too. Right, I love detail work. Oh, this is Bob Marley, as you all know, Bob Marley is a champion for social justice. And yes. uh, I consider myself a, a, a social justice advocate as well. Okay. So I listen a lot to the music of Bob Marley. Sometimes, um, you know, when you're weak in faith, he will inspire you to go ahead, get things done. Yes. Right. What medium is this one? This is watercolor as well. Watercolor. Okay. Yes. Yes. Wonderful. Good to see um, the face of uh, Bob Marley, who has yeah. helped so many um, to this day with his uh, music. Right. Okay, this one is called um, Rasta Vibrations. Uh, it was done in pencil, different grades of pencil. Yes. During right. And, and um, what size is this um, drawing? Pardon me? What size is the drawing? Size. How big was it? The drawing is about, um, it's about 20, it's very big, 20 by 26. Okay, so, right, right. Yeah, I was just trying to get the pers perspective. Um, okay, it's so detailed. It looks like photographs really joined together. So we have Haile Selassie and the two others in the, um, are there any 
particular people? In a female Rasta figure. Yeah, okay. And the lion as, you know, a um, symbol of bravery. Yes, and Lion of Judah. Yeah, right. Then we have the ant in the middle with the eye of Horus. Oh, yes. All yes. Pina, you know, that's a representative of God for some people. And uh, for me, Eilis Selassie is also uh, one of the persons who is deeply committed to social justice globally. Yes, he was... Um... He was right. certainly um, a great leader. Right. Okay, so let us see another image. Oh, look at this one. A uh, drawing done in, in oil pastel. Oil pastel drawing, okay. A bridge which is in uh, Spanish town. It's called the Old Iron Bridge. Okay. Right. You know, because become a subject of many art pieces. Yes. But what I think about this piece is that um, it was done on black paper. Oh, There's black paper. That's why we see the black um, sort of coming through the background. I work from, from dark to light with this one. Okay, interesting technique. Not, our natural dark. They were not touched by anything. They're just pick out the lighter areas and bring out the, the painting. Yes, yes. Right. Interesting technique here. Right, right. Okay, this one is acrylics. It's a sunset. And um, this one was done for um, a gift for a teacher who uh, was, you know, in the process of being, you know, retired. Yes. So I was to do this piece for that retirement function. Oh, and I love yes. Beautiful colors. And uh, this is what, what medium? Acrylics. Acrylic. Acrylic on canvas. All right. And this lady? Jamaican Queen Mother. Okay. She, to me, is an inspiration to the hardworking women and men of Jamaica, the farmers. Yes. You know? Yes. Because people tend to look down on, on, on people who do farming. Yet, I think, um, as was said by Imhotep, let your food be your medicine, your medicine be your food. Yes, I yes. They feed the nation, and people don't realize how important they are. Because their food, and I go to these people, there is no, no GM food by them. They have natural good food. Yes. So I did this one to promote these type of people who have the yes. best. Yes. Yes, they, they hold up um, the nation and they are the uns unsung heroes, I sometimes call them. <laughs> right. Yes, well done. Yes. And this one, what medium we have here? Oil. Oil, okay. Is it the same bridge, the Spanish bridge? Spanish bridge. It is okay. in Central, very close to Otrias. Okay. But it's a site where people go to, to have just to picnic, bed, yes. time. Okay. Yeah, but I just love the mood of the whole environment. So I yes. Painting of it. Beautiful. Yeah. And this one now, abstract. What medium was this? No, was done to the beat of 528 um, music frequency. Okay, 528 hertz. Okay. It is said that um, that's a frequency which um, repairs damaged DNA. Okay. So, right. In doing this piece, uh, my hope was that after I could trap that energy within myself, transfer yes. it to work, and then whoever owns a piece of it or a print, yes, it can to them and help them as well. 
Oh, wonderful, brilliant idea. So transferring the energy into the canvas. Right. Once you keep a piece like this in your space, yes. you should experience that um, frequency which will repair your DNA. Yes, yes. Original self. Wonderful, right. wonderful. Well, thank you so much for sharing your work with us today. I'm so okay. impressed. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your projects that are ongoing. All right. Uh, presently, I am the president for the Spanish Stone Guild of Visual Artists. Okay. Yes, it's a group of artists which um, we do ex exhibitions regularly. Yes. You know, we need to support each other. Okay. Uh, there's a Facebook page where you can find um, the Spanish Town Guild of Visual Artists where you will see exhibition from many different artists because we normally do an online show. Oh. Like, you know, we find artists from all across the world and we will give them an online show. Yes. And they show remain online. Okay, wonderful. Another project which we are presently involved in because uh, Spanish Town is like a big inner city, right? Where I've been there just once. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Um, crime rate is very high. Yes. And um, there are a lot of schools, but. I, I presently work in a school in Spanish Town, but uh, many of the kids are, I think, suffering from trauma resulting from crime, losing their many of their parents, especially fathers, okay. so, and violence. Yes. So as artists, we think that um, children leaving out from the many different communities, um, if when they leave their homes, you know, they can come in touch with murals in the town and murals in their community. We think that that could help to lift their spirit, to put them in a better frame of mind. Definitely. You know, right? Yes psychosocial aspect of the whole human being. So and would you um, get children involved in now uh, painting the murals too or assisting to paint the murals? Yes, definitely. In okay. fact, uh, whenever we are doing a mural, we normally involve people who are, who are not skillful artists but who are excited about the project. Yes. Most so we give them a time because we can find places for them to work. Yes, right? definitely. So the more skillful artists take And um, that too would help in um, taking ownership so they would not vandalize the mural. <laughs> you know? Right. So we're in the process of writing, uh, writing proposals. Okay. Sponsored. Yes, yes. The objective is to do quite a few more murals, maybe over a hundred murals within Ooh. the town and in the communities as well. Yes, there yes, wonderful. Where, you know, whenever it is ready, I'm thinking that we could have an artist being employed to the project for probably a year or two or more. Oh, yes, yes. Wonderful. And where can viewers see more of your work? Well, um, my work can be seen on Facebook. That's if you go to um, the Spanish Town Guild of Visual Artists page, my work can be seen there. Or if you go to a site called fineartamerica.com, what they do, they um, sell prints of different artists work all across the world. You know, so if yes. you go to financeamerica.com, you can view my work 
you can purchase prints of my work as okay. well. Okay, wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Winston. That's all we have time for today. And viewers can also see my work at jennylynnjames.pixels.com. That's jennylynnjames.pixels.com. And on Facebook and Instagram at Art by Jenny Lynn James. That's Art by Jenny Lynn James. Remember to hit the subscribe button and get notified when we have Art Snack next time. Thank you, Winston. Thank you, Jenny Lynn. Thanks okay. for having me.